Hi guys! So I'm going to read this book to you today called The House Takes a Vacation by Jacqueline Davies and illustrated by Lee White. I think this is really a cute one so I'm excited to read it to you guys. When the Petersons left for vacation, their house decided to go on holiday too. Where shall we go? asked the two bedroom windows. The house had never been anywhere. We could visit the red house on the corner, said the window on the left. I'll lead the way, shouted the front door. I'd rather visit the yellow house across the street, sniffed the window on the right. I'll lead the way, shouted the front door. Dudes, said the roof, there's no way I'm spending my vacation with the stuccoed up houses in this neighborhood. <laughs> I should like to see the sea, said the sun porch. I've heard stories about the dance of the sunlight there. The sea, said the bedroom windows. The sea, said the roof. I'll lead the way, shouted the front door. And so they all agreed, all except for the chimney, who didn't want to go anywhere. Travel is a pain in the bricks, he complained in his smoky voice. After examining a map, the house set off. The basement, however, stayed behind. You're such a stick in the mud, said the roof, but the basement refused to rise up to the occasion. It took a whole day to make the trip. Night had fallen by the time the house arrived. The beach was deserted and the sea was a silent blanket of blackness. The roof had fallen asleep. Wake up, shouted the front door to the roof. Are we there yet, mumbled the roof, stretching his gutters. Man, am I sore. I feel like I've got shingles. <laughs> I feel like I've got the flu, mumbled chimney. Oh, the, pa the panel, the panel, <laughs> creaked the bedroom windows. And then they all fell silent. The house stared at the vast darkness. Is this it? asked the bedroom windows. What a whole lot of zip wrapped up in nada, said the roof. I could have told you, said the chimney. Travel never lives up to your expectations. It's better just to stay home. Let's go home, said the bedroom windows. I'll lead the way, shouted the front door. No, said the sun porch. Let's stay the night. I want to see the dance of the sunlight. Then we will go home. The house shifted uncomfortably. We could use the rest, said the windows. We nearly shattered all from all this travel. So the house settled down for the night, but no one got much sleep. The house flies met up with the sand fleas and they had a party in the walls. They didn't break up till dawn. Look, whispered the sun porch who had stayed awake all night. The front door creaked open, the chimney straightened up, the roof stretched and peaked. The bedroom windows shuttered their shutters. Everyone looked at the sea. That is something, shouted the front door. Can't top that, said the roof. Lovely, twittered the windows. Even the chimney said, holy smoke. The sun porch smiled as she felt the sun warmed air flow through her screens. I'm so glad we came, she said. Dudes, said the roof. Surf's up, I'll lead the way, shouted the front door. Do we dare, squealed the bedroom windows. Why not, roared the chimney. You only live once. Without a moment's hesitation, <clears throat> excuse me, the house went to the water's edge and dipped its foundation in, but it waded in too far, too fast, and was swept out to sea, unable to stop, unable to steer. It drifted in the current. The house sailed along for several miles before it came to a lighthouse. Amateur, muttered the lighthouse as it pointed towards the shore. The house dragged itself out of the surf, shook the salt water from its gutters and began to hobble home. Never again, groaned the chimney, dropping bricks along the way. The house made it home before it got dark. The basement, cracked and sunburned, was glad to be covered once more. Tired from their travel, everyone settled down quickly and fell asleep. All through the night, Sun Porch dreamed of the glorious dance of the sunlight and heard the whistling of the sea breeze. She was already planning their next vacation. What happened? <laughs> they got home in their houses. All messy.
Okay. All right. I hope you guys liked that one. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.